Hello, everyone, and happy pre New Year's. I just wanted to send you all a message to say, like you, I am so glad to be done with 2020. It has been an insane year, to say the least. But we have a big road ahead of us for 2021. I'm hopeful that things are going to be better. I know the beginning of the year, maybe not so much, but again, we have to hope for the best. But I wanted to go ahead and um, I have a few props here that I want to show you all, which are kind of funny and not, but um, who will never forget toilet paper and masks forever, right? That's what 2021 will allow us to remember always. And hand sanitizer um, and of course, Lysol wipes. So um, there's some takeaways here. And we certainly will never forget 2020 for so many reasons. Um, and I'm sure like your business, mine has gone through a lot of ups and downs, uh, through the pandemic and, um, it's been tough, but there's a lot of good that have come out of the pandemic and I'll get into some of that, but I just want to do again, say happy new year to everybody out there. And uh, first of all, I wanted to thank the businesses that have continued to support Noble Productions through the pandemic. Um, we have had some loss, however. There's a handful of you that have stayed on and utilized our services for marketing. And we greatly, greatly appreciate every one of you. And um, all of your logos are displayed here. And again, thank you so much. And thank you to all of you out there that continue to open up and receive the email. Um, this is another way of supporting local business here. And so we appreciate you receiving the email, sharing it with friends, and um, just supporting the businesses that you see here in addition to any small business in your community. So again, thank you so much. We greatly appreciate it. Um, I wanted to talk about a couple of other things though. Um, outside of these items here that I have, the hand sanitizer, the masks and whatnot, um, what has probably gotten a lot of us through 2020, I know for me, has been wine. This is a Noble Productions wine bottle, but um, wine has been a great savior for me and probably for a lot of you. But um, I will say that I'm sticking to my uh, January and September where I do those two months every year and I go sober. So this will be my last hurrah pretty much tonight um, with my family to celebrate 2020 and bring it in 2021. But nevertheless, I'm looking forward to it. Another cool thing um, that I enjoy doing during the holidays every year is making Mexican coffee. And for those of you that haven't had Mexican coffee, it's absolutely amazing. Um, you have to find the Mexican chocolate. That's the key ingredient in addition to um, Kahlua and tequila. And you mix it all together with some yumminess and it's super delicious. So, okay, moving on. Um, I wanted to mention, you know, the small business community, which I'm a part of and being a part of the Pismo Beach Chamber of Commerce I've seen firsthand and I've heard stories firsthand of all the suffering and all the challenges um, from being able to open to having to close. Um, some businesses like ours just having to close down indefinitely um, that have been really hurt, um, the restaurants. Um, so I've really tried to be involved and have a clear understanding of all that information that's being shared, not just through our city of Pismo Beach, but just everywhere in general from the governor um, just so I can keep the business community informed of what's happening. And um, that's been big for Noble Productions and the Pismo Chamber of Commerce. And I think that the businesses have greatly appreciated that type of communication. So if you find yourself just unaware of what's happening or where things are, um, then feel free to message me. I'd be happy to help or the Pismo Beach Chamber of Commerce. And um, we can assist with, with any of those kinds of services. We actually have a beach communities business page where we filter a lot of very important information that's released on a regular basis to that one page in regards to loans and, and pretty much anything you would need to know about. So um, that's been big. Another thing that's been great as far as the good and bad of, of COVID um, with Noble Productions specifically has been the fact that live streaming is obviously huge now. And um, Zoom, you know, we didn't know about Zoom before, not so much. And now everybody's doing Zoom. So uh, for us, extending that Zoom and being able to take Zoom live 
um, to Facebook um, has been something else that we've been become very proficient with and enjoy doing uh, outside of actually developing a mobile live stream uh, broadcast. So when I say that, we basically take Restream and we can multicast to YouTube channels, to uh, Facebook pages, and um, up to four to five pages, I would say. And my brother Simon has been instrumental in basically becoming proficient and becoming an expert in that. And so if you have a need for that type of service, um, then we would hope that you would give us a call because, again, we have definitely streamline that and um, we have the entire setup especially if you are going to be doing some kind of performance or something like that so bands out there if you want a very professional look um, and you want lower thirds or even commercials inserted it's literally a live broadcast and we can also insert pre-produced uh, content so we did that for the uh, pismo beach jazz jubilee we did uh, two eight-hour days in october and it went seamlessly. So um, we're very capable in addition to actually having a mobile unit with a professional camera where we can literally walk an area. Um, we purchased our own hotspot device in order to do that. So that's been something that's been really good that came out of um, COVID. I don't know that we would have um, taken those steps had this not happened and had the need not arise. So that's been great for Noble Productions. And again, thank you to my brother, Simon Mercado um, who has spent endless hours on perfecting this service. Um, so what else do we have? Uh, a lot of good things. Uh, family, you know, family has always been huge for me. I'm very close to my family. If you follow me on social media, I'm sure you see my mom, my, you know, my brothers, um, my boyfriend, Tim. Um, we've been able to really continue to build that bond, that family bond and, and family is more important than ever. Um, uh, this year, and I've been with my boyfriend for five years now, uh, which is huge for me. And so this year we, we've, we're actually living together now, finally. Um, it only took five years, but we're there. And then my, uh, my relationship with my oldest grandson, um, again, I don't know that that would have happened either had it not been a year of COVID. So that bond with my grandson is, is bigger and better than it's ever been. And um, I'm very, very thankful for that. So again, it's kind of put a lot of things in perspective for me and I'm sure it has for you too. And you just gotta have to take a step back and look at what has come out of uh, 2020 and, um, and analyze that. Just think about that for a minute, you know? And hopefully like my family, none of us have gotten COVID. Um, we've knock on wood, um, we've been very blessed and our, my immediate family has been great. The, the immediate circle around me with the Pismo Beach Chamber of Commerce has been great. So, um, we hope to continue that. And, um, for those out there, you know, if you or your family have suffered from COVID or even had loss, our prayers go out to you. Um, it's been a tough year, you know, it's been a tough year. So um, again, I just wanted to put that message out there and just talk about some things that were, that were good out of 2020, you know, what we can look forward to in 2021. You know, realistically, we know that things aren't gonna change overnight. Um, we don't go from today and tomorrow is going to be COVID free and we're gonna be back to normal. I know that's not reality, but we can look forward to making progress. At least we have an idea of what we're dealing with and how we can move forward as small businesses. And each of us have had to pivot and change immediately, which, which should be one of those messages to each one of us that we need to be ready for those kinds of things and be resilient and be able to pivot and accept that and not just close our businesses down. You know, if there's a way that you could still conduct business, you have to reorganize yourself and able to do that. And a lot of businesses have gone online and have been successful with that. Um, there's been a lot of creative marketing happening, mostly through social media. So I'm glad to see that everybody's embraced that. There's been a lot more videos that I've been seeing. Um, so again, just kind of sit back and think about the things and what this forced us all to do, because it's forced us to do things that we probably wouldn't have done normally. Um, so outside of that, I want to say thank you. Um, I've built some great new relationships through the chamber, the Pismo Beach Chamber of Commerce, and um, we have really formed a sense of togetherness and a sense of community and support 
I believe through COVID and it, I'm just super thankful for that. And I'm looking forward to uh, be the chairwoman for 2021. So I have a lot on my plate for 2021 and I'm ready for the challenge and I'm ready to also grow Noble Productions. So if you have a need for marketing services in 2021, if not in the beginning, later down the road, please keep us in mind. And anybody that's, uh, that's wanting to do live streaming in a professional way um, or do shows or anything of that nature, um, we'd also be willing to help you with those services also. Um, again, I wanna thank my small crew, um, Hernan, uh, David Castaneda, who's been with me since the beginning of time, Christiana, um, and then uh, most recently, we're, we're pulling my niece into the business, Selena. We're kind of getting her up to speed with how things are working with Noble Productions. And, um, and then, of course, you know, Simon Mercado. Simon has been, I can't thank him enough. He's been my partner in crime. Um, he's my baby brother of eight. And I would have never thought in a million years that the partner that I would have had in this business would be my baby brother the last born. So, um, so yeah, I'm just thankful for all of that for my, for my grandson and what's happening with him. Um, and thank you to his father and just, just so much goodness. So, um, again, sit back, take away some good things here, stay positive, keep, you know, family around, appreciate what you have because it's a reality check more than anything that that's what really matters. Um, we're here today and, uh, and, and we could be gone tomorrow. So just appreciate every day and live for, for that day, which I believe I do um, on a regular basis. So again, thank you and um, happy new year. I'll be celebrating with my family and I've got my bottle of champagne here ready to go. I'm sure you guys do too. Always supporting local and happy new year and we'll see you next year. Bye for now.